Hey, hey, folks, here we are. We might be drunk. We're doing it. We're back. I haven't seen you face to face. I saw you on the street the other day and we talked for a minute, but I haven't actually. Yeah. Yeah. We're walking down Manetta Lane and boom, you pop up. And then now we're on the sidewalk doing a podcast. I heard your voice and I was like, what? It's so weird to hear your friend's voice that you also like. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. But that's because you have such a recognizable voice. (laughs) Sure. That's really what I get at like airports. Some guys like. Comedian, <laughs> so I got I got so much yeah. to talk to you. And then about you it. go into the next men's room. Yeah, <laughs> stall. Damn it, I messed that joke up. <laughs> and I tap on the floor. You know, a little gay code. Yeah, Republican. Salakus, good to see you. Too, oh, man. Google We're bitch. Back. Good to have you. Are you uh, okay with that name? I don't want to offend I'm fine. you. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> I like the theme of shirts you got going on. It's all I wear. I like it. The Hawaiian is cool. It came back for a minute. Yeah. Now it's. Bad I think again. there was like a Proud Boy movement where they kind of co-opted for five minutes. Really? Yeah, they were called the Boogaloo Boys. Oh, but they wear khaki pants, and I don't do that. No. Okay. You kind of look like Kramer's weird friend, <laughs> Bob Sacamano. <laughs> yeah, <Yes. laughs> <Here's> Sacamano. <laughs> Proud Boys and Hawaiian shirts. I'm like, no one is less laid back than the Proud Boys. You know, they're like, we're gonna kill you. Ah, they're shaking an AK-47. That's wild. Now we got the beer Jew cooking up a Whoa. hot concoction. What are over those? Here. Those look like summery drinks. What, what do we have? They're here? pretty summery. They're old New York drinks as well. Oh. So here today we have the Salty Dog. Oh. I love a Salty Dog. Oh. I figured you would. Oh, I Thank forgot you, about the this Salty is what, Dog. Uh, this is Artie's drink from Larry Sanders. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Rip now. He, he wants his salty dogs. I love That's it. That's what DeVito, Anthony DeVito, when we do the road, he wants a salty dog. That's a great term, too. That guy's a salty dog, you know? <laughs> Sounds like it's something you'd say about a guy in an old bar. Oh, boy. What is that, a grapefruit on there? Yeah. That is really good. Not bad, right? So that's, what is it, just grapefruit and, and vodka? So basically, it's just grapefruit and vodka. Uh, if you're using, like, store-brought grapefruit, it's going to be a little sweeter, so add a little bit of lime juice, because the salt will make it sweet, will, like, ex- uh, accentuate the, the sweetness as well. Sure. And, like, the original, the Salty Dog is just the Greyhound with salt on the rim. Ah! And uh, the Greyhound was, like, just uh, this drink that was invented in, like, the 30s or the, the 20s or the 30s, yeah. based on who you ask. It's funny then, that that used to be a classy term. I'll have a Greyhound. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're, like, you're on the Greyhound. You're like, oh, fuck, my life is shit. <laughs> I'm on the Greyhound. Yes, I'm on the Bolt bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a Chinatown bus on the rocks, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a great that's call. That's a great This is perfect. I love that you're mixing it up. You're getting creative. It's you great. Know. Nailed it. Also, when I like smoke a weird joint, I call it Spear Airlines. You know, I want uh, the Spear Airlines. <laughs> there you go. I got a crazy story for you. Please. I, I was in uh, Columbus over the weekend. I just kind of, just well enough from, you know, I just got over COVID. Yeah. Just well enough to, uh, this is my first drink. Oh, hey. By the way. Yeah. Here's, good to have you back. Good, good to be back. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, I'm in Columbus, Ohio with Gary Vita. We had a great weekend. The crowds were great. Great club. Great club. Columbus Funny Bone. Great, great crowds. Yeah. And uh, we're leaving. Gary starts to feel crummy. Not COVID. He just, you know, he already had it, but he had a cold. And we're coming back Sunday morning, early flight. Not a lot of options. It was like, it was like a 10 a.m. Not brutal, but like early when you worked Still the night early. before. Yeah. We get there. We're in the clear pre-check line. We're, you know, we're both pros from the road. We, there's a woman in front of us. The worst human being I've ever. Uh oh. Just one of those people that you like. She's a problem. Mm. She's uh, she's a angry white woman. Yep. It's the she fits the stereotype. Yep. Big loud Louis Vuitton bag. Oh, two kids boy. yelling at the woman, yelling at her. Oh. And it's the clue line. She goes, Miss, you're so bad at your job. Ooh. She starts going. She goes, You're so. And it's like the morning shift, so I'm like pretty angry for this woman. Yeah. And she goes, You're so bad at your job. How are you so bad? How are you wow. so bad? Like, whoa, like goes on for like at least two minutes. Jeez. Where it's like nonstop. And she goes, what's your name? Oh. What's your name? I'm going to complain about you. And the woman's like, Carmen, my name. And she just keeps hammering her to the point where finally Vito and I are looking at each other like, is this for She's got two kids with her. Oh. Probably 12 years old or so. You could tell they're humiliated. Yeah. And this, and, and you could also tell she does this a lot. Just one of those people. And, and she, she didn't even know. You know, it's the thing where you have to line up your eyes yeah, yeah. to get on clear. And she didn't know what she was doing, but she's yelling to this woman. Jesus. For at least two, two and a half minutes, which is a long time for someone to just be berated. Totally. So it finally gets to a point where I go, hey, lady, enough. Ooh. And, Ooh and, I love enough. And she go, she looks at me shocked. She goes, what? I go, I go, stop talking to her like that. And she goes, this doesn't concern you. I said, it didn't. Now it does. Yeah. I said, and everyone in the, in the whole, 
and the whole area hates her. Yes. And and you know the ticket guy is looking at her like she's complaining to him. This is what I interrupted. She's uh-huh. like, "What? How do? Who do I complain to?" And and he you can tell he's rolling his eyes like, "What do you want?" And I go, "I go enough." And she goes, "This doesn't concern you." I said, "Now it concerns me." And she goes. She goes, security on me, <laughs> on me. And I go, I don't work for you, lady. I don't, like, you can't, you can't I'm like, and they all hate you. And then, and then Vitor goes. This is hilarious. Vitor goes, he goes, this isn't the movie of your life. You're a nobody. Whoa, oh. Vitor, coming in with the assist. Vitor calls her a nobody. And then she goes, she panics. She goes, you're short. And Gary goes, you should see me without my shirt on. I'm like, Gary, oh, no. he kind of blew it there. Like, he kind of blew it. We had it. We had her on the ropes, and you. It was like when you tag in the guy yeah. in wrestling, and he's like, and he runs in, and then immediately gets like knocked out. Oh no! But uh, and I was just like, I was like, let Gary, and he's like, all right, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and then I was like, and I, and and then I say, I say, you know, she's still rattled though, because she's not used to people talking back. Yes, to her. you can tell. She needs it though. She might have wanted to blow you. I mean, <laughs> no. I doubt a guy said that to her in ten years. Uh, well, maybe when he did, he finally left because it yeah. seemed like a single mom situation. Right. But uh, you know, finally we go, we fly through. She's getting a full body pat down, yeah. and I get a look from the ticket guy, like a nod, like "thank you." Random search. Yeah, random yeah. search. Fuck her. But Gary and I were energized after. Yeah, this. you got we, that right. We left, and we were like, "That was like a second cup of coffee." It's like Batman and, and Robin, you two <laughs> in there. You're, you're, you're fighting crime. That's it was awesome. Cra- I mean, you see those videos, and I, you know, your instinct goes to go for your phone and shame this person. But yeah. I'm, I'm glad we just did it. You, Karen, the Karen. I Karen the Karen. Hell yeah. I did. Wow. Karen is Sharon. <laughs> All right. But that reminds me, one time I was at Shoney's with my dad. Remember Shoney's? Mm-hmm. You, do you know Shoney's? It might be a regional thing. I've heard of it, but I've never, I don't it's, know what it is. What it's is like it? a Ruby Tuesday kind of mm. shitbox family place. All you place. can eat? Yeah, had a salad bar. Yeah. Back with the pink and the big. salt here, I'm licking this like it's a vagina. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> on, let me get my nose in here real quick. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? So I must have been... Seven or eight years old. I'm out with my dad. Whenever my dad had no, when my mom was on around, he would just take us out to dinner. He's like, I don't want to cook. So we'd go to Shoney's. I love Shoney's. And this lady is like hitting her kid. The kid is screaming. He's like a two year old. And she's like, shut up. Shut. And she's like hitting him. And the whole restaurant's like, oh my God, this is brutal. And my dad stands up. And I'm like, oh, geez, here we go. And you know, my dad's a nut. And he goes, Lady, if you hit that kid again, I'm calling social services. And the whole restaurant, you could hear a pin drop. And she goes, bitch, sit down. And he goes, hit him again. And even the kid was like, <laughs> I like a two-year-old. He's in a diaper. And I was like, oh, my God. It's like a Mexican standoff. And she's like, I, I don't tell me how to raise my kid. He's like, do it again. And then we paid the bill and left. And everybody went. That's the only time these people, by the way, these terrible parents, the only time they are mad is when someone else tells yes. them they're a shitty parent. Because exactly. they know they are. Right. right. That's the only time they're actually upset. Yeah, it's it's very similar to a heckler. You know, when you, they get thrown out, they're like, oh, what was I didn't do anything. I was laughing. You're like, no, you have, you're so clueless. You have no idea that the whole room hates you. He took away, your dad took away her power because that kid never looked at her the same way. Ooh. Yeah, right? Maybe After right. that, she was like, either, yeah, well, you're lucky that guy's not here. He's yeah. fucking lay into you. <laughs> right, right. You, he hit it with a nice lady. Yes. <laughs> throughout, throughout that white male privilege. <laughs> well, it sucked for us because now the kid lived with us for a year. No, <laughs> That's the sitcom. <laughs> That's the show. Yeah, see, my dad has a little Karen in him. So, like, I've seen him chew people out before, and I'm like, oh, I would have been that kid. Older people do sometimes have it. Yeah, exactly. Because they're used to, like, customers always right. Uh, I'm paying you, so you have to act a certain way that i think they have a little of that old school mentality but, but hitting the airline employee it's like dude look, we've we've all been the victim of people who treat us like shit at the airport we've all but like sure. when it's not warranted you can't do that shit no no i've definitely i remember i missed i this was like early in my career i was just trying to save money and i did a, a website called cheapo air Oh, I know Cheapo Air. Yeah, it's, it was like the alternative to Kayak. It was or Expedia or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It was if you were trying to get a deal, and it's like if you're a gambling man, which we were. Oh yeah, you would do. Um, you get Frontier, maybe a Spirit. Yeah, but you would get Connect flights sometimes on different airlines. Yeah. So this is the game you're playing. You're like, all right, I got a flight for one fifty, but uh, it's it's Frontier to Spirit. Yeah. Like I got, I got. So here's what happens when it's herpes to gonorrhea. <laughs> you know, it's two horrible things. But when you, but when you get the, like you miss the flight, neither airline 
is accountable. Right. That's the problem. It's like if you miss a Delta connection, they're like, we'll get you on the next one, yes. sir. You miss two. They're like, go fuck you. You're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> you're a cheap idiot. I know. And every time you get on that plane, you're like, it wasn't worth it. The no. seats are wicker. You know, there's like <laughs> cigarette butts in the handlebar and they have the hand armrest and there's like a a cage of chickens next to you, you know? You're like, what am I doing? I should have just paid the $40 extra and gotten a normal flight. The flight attendant has an S&M whip. You're just like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we miss, I remember I missed the flight. I was so upset. I had to buy, I think, a $583 ticket to a festival. If I, and remember, I told the guy what happened. By the way, Cheapo Air, when you say that, you just, you won't admit that's the airline. Right. It's, it's the only website that sounds like an insult. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cheapo. You're an idiot. <laughs> so I told the guy, I was like, oh, well, you, one of you guys has to be accountable. And he go, he just, he's, I remember the guy just laughed in my face. He was Ooh. like, you're you're a fool. He was mocking me. And I remember I go, fuck you. I just lost Damn. it. And of course, I had to buy it. And then I moved over and this woman saw it. She was like, just come over here. Uh, and she was like, eh. so, but I still had to buy the ticket. That'd be great if you were like, fuck you. And some lady's like, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> you crossed the line. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was mocking me for like 10 minutes when I was panicking. I was like, that you can't. But like, if someone's just doing their fucking job. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Can't Stav Stav told me he was in Vancouver recently and, and he missed they were for whatever reason just kicked him off the Connect flight mm. and he just missed it. So he got home instead of like two PM, he got home at midnight. Ooh. And the person and Stav was like, Yeah, I had a meltdown on the person. Oh, okay. But they had no reason to kick him off the flight. It no, was like, yeah. That's crazy when they do that. Sometimes it's warranted. Sometimes and they just give you that shit eating grin with their vest and their wings behind the desk. So I get it. Your your blood's boiling. So um, if we're talking flights, I gotta lay a whopper on you. All right, so I was going to Cincinnati on Friday. Ooh. Yeah. Not a great flight situation with Cincinnati, but I found a 2 o'clock that lands at 4 o'clock. Two-hour flight. So not risky. Bad. I'm doing one of those in a week, and I'm nervous. Everybody's like, it's a little late. I'm like, ah, I get there at you know, 4 o'clock. The show's at 7. I got three hours, you know? And It's risky. It's risky. I get there, and they go, right when you get through security, you get your phone back. Ah, delayed. Shit. Delayed an hour. All right, so now I'm getting there at 5. Show's at 7. All right, all right. Delayed again. Now I'm getting there at 6, and now we're calling the club and doing the whole, like, okay, you're going to have to land and come straight here with your bags, and you're like, all right, that sucks, but I'll make it work. Boom. Hey, now that it's delayed again, you're going to miss the first show, but we'll we'll get you to the second show, you know, whatever it is. They'll Oof. stretch, and eventually... The anxiety. The anxiety, but the glimmer of hope, the silver lining, the ray of sunshine, I took your advice... I got the American Express card. I'm in the lounge. Yes. Nice. I didn't even want to get the flight. I had the feet up. I had a hot cocoa. I had a beer. I had a, a, a buffet going on. I had a dessert buffet. I mean, I was I was the asshole in there. With I like, always get that cookie, that caramel oh, cookie. Oh, the Ooh. cookie. I'm dipping it in the coffee. It was great. I had a face mask on and uh, I had a, what are you, kiwis on my eyes or whatever. I mean, I was milking that place. And they kept being like, delay it again, delay it again. I was like, great, fuck it. Who cares? I was looking up at the wall, like, push it back. So then eventually it was like 11 o'clock, so oh I landed God. at 1. But that lounge, I mean, it saved me. But here's the problem. I missed both shows Friday, which is always a bitch. I don't know if that's ever happened to me. Oh, well, it's the worst. Both. I think I missed one. I don't think I missed – two is brutal. Two is bad because you lose the money. And then I was had all my sh merch there, so you lose the merch sales. So the whole thing sucks. But either way – I got there finally at 2 in the morning. Now, everybody on the plane is cranky because they weren't in the lounge. So they're all just been waiting in the airport, Oof, pissed off. Yeah. So I watched a big fight. Not fist fight, but so this lady sitting next to me, she's probably a 60-year-old blonde woman. She's in the aisle. The plane finally lands. It's 1 in the morning. Everybody's annoyed. She gets her bag down. And then she goes to grab mine to be nice. And she's pulling it down. And I got a fat bag, so she's trying to get it out. And I'm like, ma'am, I got it. It's heavy. Don't worry about it. She's like, no, I'll get it. I'll get it. Now, there's a lady behind her with two kids. And she's like, my kids have seizures. You're bringing other people's bags down. I got to get off this flight. She's like, ma'am, the door's not even open. Like, what's the difference? Let me bring this guy's bag down. She's like, fuck you. Don't talk back to me. So he now said, they're fuck fighting. You? Yeah, it got oh ugly. My God. And there's two kids behind her. It's like, my and she's got a big Louis Vuitton here. bag. It's the same woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one was a little different. And she's just like, fuck you. And the other Whoa. lady's like, what's your problem? So now the door opens and the blonde lady is just like getting out of there. She's like, this lady's a little volatile. I'm getting off this plane. So then the uh, lady with two kids is like chasing her. And she's got her two kids in tow. So it's slowing her down. But she's like, fuck you. 
yelling in the airport now. I, I'm like keeping up with these people because I want to watch. And she's like, I got two kids with seizures. Fuck you, bitch. This is why uh, we don't like bl- uh, we don't like white people because people like you what? and the blonde lady's like, what the fuck is going on here? She she's, started this with a kind gesture. I know. No good deed. So Damn. I'm just like, whoa. And I'm getting too close to the crazy lady. And this is at 11 or so when you This landed. is about one in the morning. Oh, my God. So there's people in the airport sleeping and looking up like, what the fuck? Guys are on their video games. Like, what's happening? And you don't want to get too close because then now you're in the you're in the wake, you know. Oh and she'd God. be like, "What are you looking at?" You know that whole thing. So eventually, she chased her out there, and I I had to go to baggage claim. But uh, pretty wild. I mean, the the tensions are high at these days at at the airport. My kids have seizures is a weird complaint. I think she's given these kids seizures but with I, these uh, these outbursts. Yeah. What the hell? I don't get. What does that mean? Is it I so know. they can just have a seizure? It's like yeah, but what's Three more minutes. Exactly. You just want to take these people and hug them. Like, what's really going on? What's the problem? What do you need? Should I fuck you? What, what is it? Will that help? What, do you want a cookie? Do you want a massage? What is the deal? Should have bought some cookies from that lounge, dude. <laughs> Hand know. out some cookies. Everyone's in a good all. mood. Yeah, that would help. So you landed at 1 a.m. And you made up the shows or no? I made up. We added one on Sunday. But then it's like a mix of people. Exactly. Did it, did it sell out? It did, but Ooh, they were great. like, I did a QA and a at the end, and every question was like, where the fuck were you? It's one of those things where you get in trouble. I'm like, the flight was Yeah, it's not a fun back. day for you. That happened to Vita on Thursday when we were in Columbus. He had to, he was going to do the Thursday mm-hmm. and headline that, and it opened for me Friday, Saturday, and he lost his whole day at, at the airport. Yeah. So same shit, 11 a.m. flight. He's there till 7 p.m. It got canceled. But is he in the lounge? He is. Oh, okay. That helps. That helps. You should see him with his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> One of the worst comebacks. <laughs> I've never heard I love like Gary. That. He is shredded. I'll give him that. He is ripped. But it's yeah. a, you can't. We had her on the ropes. <laughs> yeah. You can't. It's funny how you can make fun of a man's appearance. But if you make fun of a woman's appearance, it's like times 10. Oh, we could have. Exactly. We, were, we really were holding back. Yeah. Because your short is like a. That's a dig. That's you a know? dig. He oh, could have been like, you're is, fat. Gary is a bit about how you can, he has a oh, lot of really? material on how you can say a guy's short, but yeah, yeah, it's, there you you're, you're hitting right into his, I'm like, Gary, you got so many bits about this. You could have <laughs> hit it with one of those. Weave that into your act. Get yeah. people in the, in yes. the whole airport on board. Right. He shouldn't, because the shirt off, I don't even know what that means. Like, what, are you going to fight her? I have seen him with his shirt off, and I will say he, he's very strong. <laughs> he looks very good, but the fact that we're talking about this, it, it was too out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'm girthy downtown. Like, what, you know, what else are you going to say? He should have been like, a, yeah, I'm short, but I can, I'm can. i tall enough to see that you're a cunt or something, something like that. This is a real jerk store moment. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Woo, but yeah, the airport, man, it's, uh, it's a tough sled in these days. It's, yeah. it's uh, anarchy out there. Anarchy, man. But you had a good weekend otherwise? Great weekend. Cincinnati's cool. Went to go bananas to get to drink with the locals. Uh, had a fun time. Oh, that's a far, isn't it? It was about 20 minutes, you know. But, oh, that's it? But the funny bone is in Liberty. It's in the mall. So I, know, I had to get out. Yeah, the staff there is great. They're, it's a great, great, really well-run club, but it's it is. in the middle of nowhere. It is, yeah. It's, it's in the burbs, big time. It's like a 45-minute drive from the airport just to get oh, there. Geez. Brutal. That was my opener every night. Hey, it's good to be in almost Cincinnati. I know. I said something like that, too. Something along the lines of, like, uh, where the fuck are we? Yeah. <laughs> what? What is this? Yeah, you're in one of those fake towns where they have a little square, you have grass, and then they have a Sephora, an Apple store, a oh. Chipotle. It's all the same shit. It's funny. You get to these, these mall areas. Like, you know, Gary and I were at a funny bone, too. We were in Columbus, and... The second you get there, you're like, this is kind of great. We have, like, all these stores yeah. we can just walk to. And literally, within 15 minutes, we're like, get me the fuck out of here. Yes. Malls suck. I know. I hate them. I, I have nothing. Like, well, how long can you spend in a lids? Exactly. You walk into lids, you're like, I can get a hat. You're like, I don't want a fucking hat. I don't need a hat. It's I don't all, need this. It's all shit I don't need. I'm, like, walking around Pier 1, like, oh, maybe I will buy this vase. <laughs> like, what the fuck am I doing? I don't need any of this stuff. Gary's like, they have cool jackets and cotton on. I'm like, all right, fine. You know, like... <laughs> We're in like this. I'm like, this fucking sucks. Yeah, let's check out the REI. <laughs> Why? I have a coat. We went to a cheesecake factory, and uh, I like a cheesecake factory. It's the best they're, chain. They're solid. Yeah. But it's this fucking mall. So, of course, we go there on a. We're only there Friday, Saturday. It's got to be a 40 minute wait mm. to get a table. Oh, yeah. And it's like Saturday morning. So it's 
must be like not nine to one kid ratio yeah. to adult. And I'm just like, this is killing me. <laughs> They're just running around us. Gary and I still don't feel 100%. We're fucking losing our mind. Yeah. I've never been more pro-choice in my life. <laughs> That's not true. I was on that flight from Orlando, that one too. But You're the opposite of Jared Fogle. You see kids and you, <laughs> you hate them. You're like, ah, oh, this sucks. Fogle gets in there. He's like, this is great. And I'll never try to sell you on Subway either. <laughs> yeah, Those true. sandwiches too. They're true. terrible. Yeah, so I'm with you, though. The kids are rough, but you get back to New York, and they're like, some lady was pushed on the track. She's like, all right. <laughs> We're back, baby. I'm back. It's so boring over there. It is funny when you think the city's losing its edge, and then I was, I was like, mad. You just you go every block. It's like Starbucks, Walgreens, yep. Rite Aid, and then, and then I, I was out late at night, and there was a guy just in clown makeup on a scooter, and I was like, <laughs> hell yeah. This city's still got an edge. Yeah. No one's fucking with that clown guy. I know. I catch myself in, in Liberty, Ohio. Ohio, I'm watching videos of the, the homeless guy who put shit in the woman's face, and I'm like jerking off to that. Oh. I'm so bored out here. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, rub it in. I'm like that poop. This city is going down the toilet. Am I right? <laughs> no, that's uh, that is really what a story. Oh yeah, that the the poop smearer. He was released and arrested again. And what? Yeah, that's actually one of the stories we're supposed to talk about today. Oh yeah, bring up some stories. There it is. He, you don't want to hear that guy releases ever. That's not no. a good sign. No. That uh, says you know what it's like? It's like in remember in the dark night when when Heath Ledger is like, This city deserves a better class of criminal and you're like, Oh, this maybe this is the criminal New York deserves yeah, right now. <laughs> maybe know. this is what we get. Wow, yeah. listen to this quote. He said, Don't let me out again. What? He said to the cops after he was arrested in Washington Heights self storage facility mm. for going berserk on a worker. Mm. Whoa. And then he said, What am I going to do next to shock the city? He's like a super villain. He is. He's shitty Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> shitty Riddler. <laughs> Shittler. Shittler. Ah, Adolf Shittler. Yeah, holy moly. What a psycho. Shittler's list. Leave yeah. him in him. He wants to be in. Shittler's list. He's got a list he's working on. <laughs> he's got a shit list. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this city is, uh, they say they're cracking down, but who the hell knows? That's a, that's a pretty horrible crime. <laughs> Yeah. You walk in on someone taking a shit, you feel violated. Think yeah. about how violated you feel if someone smears their own fecal Ooh. matter. What's Ooh. what's nuts is he realized he went viral for this, so he's like looking for the next hit. Yeah, they want attention. He's yeah. an influencer. Damn. <laughs> Sadly. But there's it's it's weird that there's viral for good and bad. I mean it's like it doesn't mean is. that it's oh wow. Oh poor lady, it's yeah. like six in the morning, just minding her business. Probably going to some shit job, no pun intended, and then boom, smash in the face with a turd. How do you get over this? How do you? Because you shit every day, too. What you do is you go on Dancing with the Stars next season. You try to, <laughs> you try to turn it into positive press. The smear, look, I know he smears. He's not doing that anymore. He's trying to clean up his image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is tough. Oof. Yikes. Jesus. Oh, wait, I just had... Did you see Batman? I haven't seen it yet. Is it I, good? I haven't either, I want to no. see it. I want to see it. I want to see an IMAX. But it's three and a half hours or something know, crazy. so long. I've heard our buddy Ronan says it stinks. Yeah. And and I, and he's such a hater that I didn't... T- but he's like, no, I love the Nolan ones. I love the okay. Nolan ones. I do, too. They're hard to follow. Yeah. What, I mean, do you have you seen it yet? No. Beer? Jew? Nine. Matt Peters? Damn, oh, wow. we are disappointing white men. Yeah, it's breaking <laughs> all these records at box office. Although it's not doing as well as Spider-Man did, right? Mm. Didn't Spider-Man kill it? Mm-hmm. I heard that was great. I don't know, super, no superhero. Way home or whatever. Yeah, people yeah, love it. I haven't seen any of the new Spider-Mans, but they're supposed to be pretty good. I, I only have one Spider-Man in my heart. So. Who's Toby? That? Toby. Yeah. The cartoon growing up was pretty damn good. That was good. Yeah. It was funny. It had good. It, he I mean, had, he was witty. The yeah. Batman cartoons were fantastic. Batman Beyond and stuff like that. Oh, Mark yeah. Hamill, fucking incredible. The Joker. Yeah, Mark, yeah. I never knew about that until like three years ago that that was Mark Hamill the whole time. Yep. And call me a boomer, but I like the old pow bang. Boom! The, the Adam West. I yeah. love. I like a light. There's some levity to it. Now it's like, ah, I got diarrhea. You know, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's too serious now. Some studio execs like this poop smear guy's hot. Pattinson, <laughs> Pattinson you're out. Poop the, smear. That's a good name. The poop smear. Poop smear. I think my girlfriend's getting one he, of those. <laughs> <laughs> the guy now. The poop smears guy's parents got killed. 
and now he rains havoc on the city. <laughs> they died of constipation. <laughs> <laughs> Never been the same since. This is the dumbest episode we've done. Oh, see, th- look at the colors, the technical. This it's so sixties. Oh, oh, I love this shit. Holy surprises, Batman! It's really <laughs> exciting. Soon, very soon, Batman and I will be battle-pulting right out of your TV sets and onto your theater screens. Yeah. Yeah. Like a classically trained Our actor. Yeah, yeah. Burt Ward. Your feature in color opens a whole new world of thrills. Oh, how cool is that? I like that he's got his fucking eyebrows uh, drawn on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like the chick at the airport. He went to a beauty parlor in Crown Heights or something. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, that Batmobile's badass, though. Look at they got the bat copter. Adam West fucking rules. Rule. Look how cool the villains are. They look like comic books. That cat one was so hot. Yeah, dude. What was her name? Julie Newmar. Mm-hmm. The entire world. Oh, so cheesy. Look at the the, the Dutch angles. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh Lee Merriweather. Sorry. Yeah, There's two of them. You're right. You're going to see the perfect crime when I get Batman in my claws. Oh, I love it. Have you heard this one? Now, here's my theory. Now, feel free to kick me in the balls here, because, you know, I like to get grandiose with my theories. Mm-hmm. I think life was a little harder then, you know, Vietnam War is cooking, race riots, civil civil rights, things yada, are, yada, yada. Things are cool now. Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but I think people worked hard jobs, you did labor. You watch the news? <laughs> yeah, all right, hold on. Maybe the theory's debunked. <laughs> no, 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 no. You already, you already I don't want to stifle. Prove, prove me wrong no, here. Go, go, but go. Everything back then, even James Bond was a lot lighter. Sean Connery is, uh, you know, making out with a hot lady on the beach, and then he has a gadget, and he punches the bad guy, and everybody wins. Now now Bond is fucking sad and tortured. Batman is tortured. But I think people have it easier now. I know we have the news, and we have Corona and BLM. We still have some things cooking. Ukraine. But... Everybody's a graphic designer. Everybody works from home. Everybody has a, an iPad and a laptop. And I think we got to make problems now, almost. Whereas then you had problems. So the, sh- the the shows were lighter. Now everything's dark and sad and evil. Maybe because we have no, we have less struggle. I think there's truth to that because mm. I, I think post when all the great film noirs came out was post World War II, which uh-huh. is like right where people wanted that darkness, so right. Yes, but then. I also think it just it's it moves in cycles because yeah. like remember I think those I think the Batman movies the Nolan one started with the dark Batman mm-hmm. right the other one before that was a little sillier it was like Bat- Batman and Robin and Batman Forever which oh, kind of sucked over the top but then it kind of went back with Iron Man which is like he's kind of silly yes. and, and quippy and, and yeah he's like a, it's a more fun superhero movie yes. than Bat- Batman's dark mm-hmm. yeah that's true parents are dead but even Bob Kane I think we talked about this even Bob Kane the inventor of Batman is like I don't like Batman now it's a bummer I had a fun guy mm-hmm. so he's he created the fucking thing that's fair well, I, I think also, like, there's, at some point, in order to make the series run, like, its course, you can't have it be, like, happy-go-lucky, you funny, gotta reinvent. funny the whole time. You exactly. gotta have this. So, like, what I'm thinking is, like, now, like, we have, like, for example, Deadpool is, like, our funny guy. He's right? sarcastic. Which is fucking amazing, by the way. Yeah, yeah he's great. Amazing. The first one's great. So, what, in, like, what, 20, 30 I years, are we gonna have... Like the downfall, the actual downfall of Deadpool, where it's I actually don't know. fucking sad. I, I, Even though his so- story is already like chaotic as fuck. Well. Yeah, but it's, you're, what you're saying is absolutely right because it's they they only will remake the same shit. So yes. they have to remake it differently, right? Yes. Like, Into the Spider-Verse was a great movie. So these execs are so uncreative. They're like, well, this is a proven commodity. Yeah. Spider-Man will do well. We don't, we're not going to try a new super... Or if they do one, a new one, it's got to be a Marvel one or a DC one. It's right. got to have some existing IP. Yes. Or well, they won't take a chance on it. But, like, Into the Spider-Verse was a great movie, and that was different. Yeah. You, know? I, you see it with Madonna. Material girl, you know, long gloves, stockings, sexy, and then it goes to like weird Madonna. Then it goes like techno Madonna. Then it's like kind of urban Madonna. You got it. We all like Madonna, so she's proven. So you got to change it up. Madonna, mm-hmm. new ass. Then she had an old ass. Then she got another new ass. There you go. Keep it fresh. You know, I followed her at the garden. <laughs> yeah, you told me that's amazing. Crazy, crazy. Do you talk to her? Uh, I think I said good set, and she went. 
<laughs> <laughs> Not much. <laughs> um, but, oh, so I got to tell you, I went and saw Sebastian Maniscalco on Monday at the Garden. How was that? It was fucking great. And I'm never, I'm not like a Sebastian head. I'm not one of these guys who's obsessed with him. I got nothing against him. I think he's a cool guy. But I was never a Sebastian guy, you know. And uh, I, I got free tickets. We have the same agent. I went. Sal Volcano, Mateo Lane, Rosebud, great crew. And we all went and saw it. And we got some free drinks and open bar and food. And Pat McGann opened sold out garden i'm talking i got to walk in with everybody people are speaking italian it is like guido in there it's full the on. old country and godfather too yeah yeah exactly it was wild there it is and uh oh my god what a, can you imagine performing to that many people that they're your people insane that's and insane by the way last night he did the prudential in jersey which is like the, their garden where the rangers play or yeah. the devils rather the yeah. devils yeah and then Rangers play here. He's doing Barclays tomorrow. Wow. He sold them all out. So when he's uh, taking that picture, does he turn around to the crowd and say, everyone turn your phones on, your mm -hmm. camera lights on and mm -hmm. face them towards me? Does he say anything else? Well, he uh, he did his set. It was a great set. Seventh hour, by the way. Wow. All these people have heat and are hip and are cool. He's just writing material and then performing it to his fans. He's I don't want to say he's under the radar, but like, you never hear about him as, like, in the top five. Burr, Louis, Attell, Chappelle. You never hear about Sebastian. And I think he, I think it's kind of cool. I respect the fact that he's just, like, out there working. And he's like, I don't well, need not, to be the hot guy. It's not about the accolades. It's about the work, right? I, mean, I agree. That's what I'm saying. I, I think that's cool about him. Yeah. And so uh, he did his whole set. I mean, that's insane. Look at that. It was insane. That is massive. And he, he did his set. It was great. He ended on a big story, big ending. And then he did a whole, like, it's so great we can come back out. This show is rescheduled 50 times. And I'm glad we could all make it work on a Monday. And then he did a whole act out, like, we got to go see this fucking guy on a Monday. You know, <laughs> you know, and that was funny. And then he goes, why don't we do a thing where we get the phones out, do the light. We'll all get photos. It'll be great. And it was, it was a nice moment. That's nice. Yeah. So I like, great I like stories like that. Mm. <laughs> That's me as my aunt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a nice story. <laughs> But it was cool to see. I'm sitting next to Sal Volcano, Mateo Lane's in front of him. Everybody's, ah! You know, comics laughing. I love that. Silly stuff, relatable stuff, observational, no politics, no, you know, divide the room, just fun. Pro entertainer. Yes. Total pro, shiny jacket, big movements, good, good, uh, good angles. Good hard, to, jokes. hard to do arenas as a political act, I would think. A political comedian, that mm -hmm. would be tough. Mm hmm. Hard yeah. to move tickets like that. I know. Because then it becomes dangerous for your comedy because it's like if you have that big an audience, then you're you're probably pandering. If you're yeah. doing that type of... Unless... <laughs> Good point. I can't... It's hard to think of a political comic that... Chappelle? Where, where there, I guess he does issues, but he's not... You don't think of him as like a Jon Stewart type. But yeah. Jon Stewart was never doing those arena... Mm -hmm. at, you know, he was doing his show. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to... It's hard to be a political comedian because part of being, a, I think, a good comedian is them not always knowing your Ooh, take yeah. i agree and once you kind of align with a party it becomes dangerous i think for your comedy yeah hmm. yeah because then you got to pander and then that's what i never got like if trump does something stupid if trump shits his pants i'm gonna make a joke about it if biden shits his pants i'm gonna make a joke about it my it's mom weird. gets upset when i do biden jokes yeah like, mom he's the president this, exactly. is, this is my job. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This is I'm gonna make Biden jokes. I'm gonna make Trump jokes. It doesn't make sense to split it down the middle. Like, well, I can't make fun of that. It's it's the left side or it's the right side. And you're like, well, now you're you're, you're ruining your whole act. Yeah. This should be the funniest thing. Yeah, I won't make fun of Putin, but uh, <laughs> seems like a great guy. But uh, I heard some model said uh, I'm I'm against Putin and Russia, and she she's missing. Yeah, but that was yeah, story. but her her boyfriend killed her. It wasn't yeah. Putin. It wasn't that was a misleading headline. Yeah. I saw that headline too, and I was like, wait, a, that's a classic New York Post headline where they're like, what could have happened? I'm like, just click, just tell us in the headline. Yeah, don't yeah. make me read this whole fucking article <laughs> when it's clearly that's what that's all their stuff. They're yeah. like, mm, person missing in Russia, and they're yeah. like, oh, it was a suicide. <laughs> Speaking Confirmed. Of which, I think I might have to pull out of this podcast because you're part Russian. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Boy, God. They're doing some of that shit now. Like I this... should be the one pulling out then. <laughs> but there's people like uh, he's a Russian singer. We we uh, we can't let him perform here. And you're like, what? Why are you it's... punching him? It's not. Yeah, it's Putin doing the bullshit. Exactly. It's I so know. Well, there's people, tribal. Uh, obviously protesting, which is 
pretty dangerous there. Sure. Uh, Do you want to hear what Putin's my twenty three and me is not that. It's I'm all over Eastern Europe. I'm I'm a Ashkenazi Jew. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't well, like how insecure I just got, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In Yugoslavia, you're a Nazi, though. <laughs> <laughs> also, I like that you think uh, Ashkenazi Jew is helping you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Putin is doing something insanely uh, sinister. He's taking people and arresting them at the anti-war protests and conscripting them into the army. Wow. That's such a fucking psycho That's brilliant That's the sitcom. Move. Yes. That's the show. Yes. <laughs> but wouldn't they have no incentive to fight? How about a gun to your back saying, go fight or we're going to put you in jail or kill you? Also, yeah, the guys who guess you're first right. invaded Ukraine had no incentive to fight either. Yeah. They were told, you could see these uh, interviews online uh, where they captured Russian, the first Russian sh- soldiers to invade Ukraine. And they were like, why the fuck are you doing this? And they're like, they told us we were just doing exercises on the border. Whoa. And then they told us to walk in. Yeah, we signed up for a P90X class. Yeah. I don't know why we were invading a country. I don't... It's called Barry's Boot Camp. Get out there. <laughs> Damn, that's wild. Yeah, the news is so... I, I was like wondering, wondering why they're like stealing... <laughs> like farmers are towing Russian tanks. Like Ukrainian farmers are Rus- towing Russian tanks out. And they just captured a Russian missile system. Like some Ukrainian farmer with a tractor. Wait, you're Russian. I was born in Ukraine and I'm Russian. Oh, geez. You're you're born there? Yeah. Wow, you're you're like divided within yourself. I mean, yeah. Do you have family there still? Yeah. That's crazy. Um, Are they alive? So, yeah. yeah, All right. Uh, But uh, did they evacuate? uh, Well, I have some. I I was born in the Crimea. So in 2014... Uh. That was a big problem. You're Russian now, then. Oh, I, I've been Russian. Yes, exactly. Cry yeah, me when, I was born, when I was born, I was born Ukrainian, but now I'm Russian again. This guy's a real pain here, Mark. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> venting. This is a this is a sketch. Venting to Mark. <laughs> right, right, right. Mark is a terrible therapist. The guy's pouring his heart out. Mark's like pun. <laughs> Here's a pun. No, 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 no. But like, uh, what's it called? Like, like you know how how shitty is it that like they have like the largest weapon systems in the world. And some random Ukrainian farmer just drags it away with a tractor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he dragged away a missile system with it's a insane. tractor. It's insane. Like, it's ridiculous. And why? Because fucking these people don't want to be there. Like, yeah. yeah, crazy. Yeah, I mean that is really. It says a lot when people are fucking scrappy and angry, and this is everything to them. They're fighting for their country. These people don't want to even be there fighting anyway. Yeah. No, they got a farm. That's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. You see the attitudes of people there, and the, and you you'll watch the news, and people are like, "Yes, we were displaced, and it's just me and my son, and I, you know, I lost my job, but you know, we'll we'll be okay." And I'm like, "Wow, you should see how much I complain." Uh, yeah. <laughs> like I, I would kill for your outlook on life. I know, I know. See, I, they I need, need to get I need to get better at that. It's a, it's a reminder to be grateful. Well, That's think- my wreck. There you go. We all do. The whole country needs a little of that. No, I you think. Ever, yeah, we all do because you know. Uh, you ever do that? Here's another wreck. If you and I, I might have done this in the pod before. But you ever feeling like low or angry, and you have to like catch yourself, and you're like, playlist that's cheerful, pick me up music. Yeah, that's big. That's what, big. What songs on What's there? on your playlist? Ooh, you make me feel like dancing. Oh, hey. I love that song from Slapshot. Great song. Great song. Uh, I'm so excited. Pointer Sisters. Fun shit. Very. Silly you get the power. Who what was this guy's bad? name? Don't play it. Don't, don't, play, don't play it. it. Don't play it. The the, the rights. Uh, <sighs> Easy, great jacket though. Yeah, that's a cool jacket. Can I oh, sing yeah. it? You can sing it. You know what mine is? Uh, Ace Freely. I'm back, back, back in, in the New, New York. York. I always play that when I land in New York, and I'm like, I am back, and then I'm like, fucking Uber. <laughs> I do. Like, it's a good song. <laughs> it's a great tune. Yeah, Kiss, you, Kiss is like another like like a Sebastian where I feel like they're kind of underappreciated. Agree. They kind of got like made fun of corny, maybe because Gene Simmons seems like he's nuts. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, they got some great songs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They rocked. Like, I mean, they sold out arenas for years. Also, uh, Alice Cooper's cameo in Wayne's World is fucking amazing. <laughs> so good. Milwaukee. Yeah. That's such a brilliant move, too, with these Alice Cooper types who are just like, I'm going to write a song called School's Out for the Summer. It'll be a hit. It'll play every summer in every school. I'm huge. You know, it's yeah. kind of like Queen has a bunch of those. Like, We Will Rock You and uh, they all the songs they play at, at baseball games. Yeah. Brilliant. You just get all the royalties. 
We Might Be Drunk is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Relationships take work. A lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to treat other people well, but how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? For me, working out or buying some new sneakers is an investment in myself. This month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to take care of your most important relationship, the one you have with yourself. We're in therapy. We go to the same guy. It's necessary. Clean out the garbage. Your head has all these horrible thoughts. Splice in your childhood, traumatic experiences. You're a wreck. You're a mess. You need therapy. Get out the garbage. Whether it's hitting the gym, making time for a haircut, or even trying therapy, you're your greatest asset. So invest time and effort into yourself like you do for other people. Tell them how. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. Maybe you got a weird boil on your face or something. Mm. You're weird, you know, you don't want to see that. You're all set. Yep. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. We Might Be Drunk is sponsored by BetterHelp and listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash drunk. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash drunk. You got to do this. It's, it's therapy. Very important. Take care of yourself. It's going to change your life. Here, here. We Might Be Drunk is thrilled to welcome our new sponsor, Fanimal. I love live events. I hate buying tickets. The hidden fees suck. And coordinating with your friends is a nightmare. They're garbage. I always end up fronting a bunch of money and chasing down my friends to get reimbursed. Not me personally, because I'm very generous. Oh, yeah. But if they flake, I'm stuck with the whole bill. And then I discovered Fanable. Fanable has tickets to everything. There's no fees. The price you see is the price you pay. That's, I mean, that's pretty big, honestly. Yeah. Not only are those prices transparent, but they're almost always lower than anywhere else I look. And for any hot ticket like Coachella, a Laker game, or Dave Chappelle, Fanimal is always the cheapest option. Nobody gives, nobody goes to live events anymore. So why buy tickets alone? Fanimal, although if you do come to a show alone, there's nothing wrong with that, honestly. I love that. Oh, like, someone yeah. tweeted me about that the other day. They're like, I want to, is it weird? My friends bail. Is it weird if I come alone? I said, no, dude, enjoy yourself. Yeah. And you know what? The guy made new friends at the show. There he tweeted you me go. afterwards. Like, I sat with these guys and they were tweeting me too. So you end up having a great time no yes. matter what. Um, Fanimal's patenting group purchase makes it easy. First, you set a minimum size for your group and you choose the number of tickets you want to pay for yourself. Then you invite friends. When the minimum size is met, everyone gets charged and receives their ticket. If the minimum size isn't reached in time, nobody gets charged. You don't commit until your friends do. March, tell them how to... Mark, I called you March. <laughs> March, March Normand, tell them yes. how to do it. Oh, yeah. And Fanimal has amazing customer service. Don't take my word for it. Check out their hundreds of five-star <laughs> reviews. The next time you need tickets, go to Fanimal.com and sign up with code DRUNK for 20% of credit, $20 of credit towards your first purchase. We drink on this show. <laughs> Check out Fanimal and experience more. Support the show and get $20 off your first purchase with the code DRUNK at Fanimal.com, F-A-N-I-M-A-L.com. Get on it! I want to play this song so bad. I know, it's a good song. Yeah. It puts you in such a good mood. Yeah. I have a lot of songs like that. Mr. Blue Sky. Love it. Electric Light Orchestra. Oh, yeah. A lot of, a lot of great... Uh, you got to have your mix of, of feel-good songs. I'll tell you what, though. Good Ukraine. Record. I bet they're watching old Batman and old James Bond. <laughs> levity. They need levity. Mark won't let this go. So yeah, he just got it. It's through the boot. They're, they're just beating up one of the uh, <laughs> Russian military guys. Pow! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah. What... Uh, what about a peeve? Oh, I got peeves. By the way, you know that the Ukrainian prince is a comic, right? I heard oh, that. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Zelensky was a, he did the voice for Paddington in their version. What? He, yeah, he's a comic. He, uh, I mean, this really is like <laughs> stand-ups in America are no longer to refer themselves as brave. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's that's over. Yeah, we're brave if we gain weight. They're brave if they go to war. <laughs> he did a one-man show in a turtleneck. He's so brave. <laughs> Really? Is he talking shit to Putin as he's invading? I know, right? And not leaving his office? Yeah. Um, yeah there he is. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> there you that's go. pretty good, man. I made that. He, I like it. He, he also played a show where he became the president right. of Ukraine. And then 
And then his became friends became the president. His <laughs> friends were like, his friends were like, you should run for. I'm sure right now he's like, fuck these friends. Uh, <laughs> Why didn't you tell me to make a, a second movie? I know. Like, we could have done a believe. sequel. I didn't have to actually become president. Yeah. Yeah, but it was like they were the corrupt politicians, right? Yeah, and he yeah, was yeah. like, oh, I can oust them, and he Whoa, did. Oh, I didn't know that. But you know, that's wild. I think they're releasing that on Netflix now. Has been a big push to get that really? more people to see it. Yeah, really. Mm-hmm. But yeah, back- so it takes for a comic to get on Netflix. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta fight Putin. <laughs> That's the audition. Yeah. But back to what you were saying about you gotta be grateful. We gotta soak up the good stuff. Oh shit, I lost my point. Oh, I had something. Just come Damn up with it. a pun. Damn it. No, it was something. Ah, I'll What's your it. wreck? My wreck. Oh, I don't know if I have a wreck. All right, give me a peeve. My peeve. I gotta peeve. And we gotta do the rest of the news, right? We even, oh, yeah. yeah, we didn't even get to the we news. Got it here. Go I here. had this one. You ever have the guy who won't stop reading your texts on the train or in public? He's looking over your shoulder? Looking over my shoulder. And I'm, I mean, I'm texting some funny stuff and whatever, you know, with comics. And this guy's like... Friend or I, stranger? Stranger. Complete Ooh. stranger. And I catch him, so I give him one of these, like, you know. And then I kind of slide back in my seat, and he's doing it again. He couldn't stop reading it. Damn. He couldn't put it down. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Brutal. Brutal. Just annoys me. It feels... If it feels violating. So violating. So many of our peeves are on the subway, I realize. Because that's when we're... Yeah. I, my peeve that I was thinking is also... I was in the train today and I'm walking up the steps. And there's a guy just in the middle of the steps uh, standing on a laptop. Wow. Like this. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your home office yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, a laptop. That's bold. It's, it's insane. Yeah. All right. I got another one. How about this guy? The guy who asks you a question and then answers it while you're answering it. You know, you go, he goes, uh, what are you drinking? I'm like, oh, I'm having a salty. And he's like, Sa- salty dog. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to get to it. Just let me get to it. How impatient it. are you? I know. He did it like five times. He's like, uh, you see any good movies lately? I'm like, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing ba- uh, Batman. Batman. I'm like, yeah, what is this? Family feud? This isn't fast money. Just let me answer it. You fucking with lately? Your mom. Ah, shit. You got to get him back that way. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, yeah. did you? Threw a curveball your way. Uh-huh. You piece of shit. Yeah, so that, like, that's annoying. Whose, whose joke was that where he's like, uh, you know what I hate when people are like, uh, you know what I hate? Potatoes. Like, you got to give me a second to guess. Hedberg. Oh, uh, Mitch Hedberg, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Brilliant. Colin yeah. Quinn had that brilliant joke where he's like, uh, some guy's like, all right, I got to go do my laundry, then I got to take the kids to school. And he's like, oh, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. And Quinn's like, yeah, that's called talking. <laughs> <laughs> thinking, thinking out loud. Out loud. It's a good name for a special. Think it out loud. Yeah, yeah that's true. I had I have another good wreck. Uh, Please. It's another shout out to our boy Ron on Hirschberg. It's a classic. I don't know why I never read it. He told me to read In Cold Blood, the Capote book. Yeah. It's insane. Really? It's one of the best written books I've ever read in my life. It's like, it's so well written that you're like, holy shit. Nonfiction, right? It's, it's about a murder. Yeah, it's yeah. real. It's a real story. Well, he invented wow. a new genre. It True crime? Called, yeah, but it was called something else. It's called like, it mixes prose with uh nonfiction. it's written like oh. a story almost yeah yeah it's, it's incredible interesting and it's like man it's it, it gives you like so many waves of feelings where these people are despicable these murderers but also you're like man some one of them had a really horrible life but still fuck him yeah you go, like kind of up and down and the way it's written there's that famous line in it where he goes you know he kills a guy and he goes he just casually says you know i thought he was a nice man i you know i thought he was an, a, a really Soft-spoken, nice man up until the moment I slit his throat. Whoa. Says it, like, very calmly, and you're like, you're fucking crazy. Whoa. Did you see Capote? I did, but I, I wasn't- Must f- see it again. I got to watch it again now that I read the book, because I, I wasn't- It was one- I think I had a few drinks, and mm-hmm. I was like, this is good, but I and I think I made it, like, halfway through and fell asleep. So I yeah. got to do a whole- It is one of those. I it is one of those. It's too. slow. It's a hard yeah. one when you've had a few in you. Yeah. Right, right. There's it's real drama love. in it, though. There was? There's real drama in it, though. Yeah, no, I mean, and he's he was the best actor. Yeah, and that I love Kelvin Keener, man. Oh, I love Keener. Great, great movie. But I, 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 I could tell it was a good movie, and I, and I should have gone back to it. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing it too, and not, I don't really remember it, but I was in and out. But I remember thinking the guy is nailing it. Yeah, he was such a good Capote. What? Uh, any Rex? Damn, I've been watching. You watching Severance? I, I got to watch it. Yeah. Ben Stiller directed it, right? It's, That's right. I, I heard it's really slow, though. It's slow, but it's shot beautifully. It's got a great look, great aesthetic, and Adam Scott is good, but it's it's a, it's a churner. You know, you got to really sit sit with it because it's one of those that just puts you right in the middle of it, and then you're kind of trying to piece it out over the show. 
Um, so I did the first two episodes, and it's coming together slowly, but it's it's heavy. It's very Malkovichy. He's in it, isn't he? Is he? Oh, maybe not. I didn't see him, but I'm only two in. Oh, maybe you know what? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. No, I uh, yeah, I do want to watch it. Uh, it's eerie. It's it, Torturo's in it. He's great. Yeah, he's a good guy. Good uh, com. I'm a good comic. Good actor. Yeah. Um, I've been watching like I watched that. I watched like the first two episodes of that bad vegan thing on Netflix. I oh up. boy, I was like, fuck this shit. Yes, I got two episodes in. I was like, this is the same thing over and over it's and the over same, again. It, it was repetitive and not well made. And uh, make it one episode. Make it one they, episode. Uh, they yeah. won't do it. Too much. Too much of this shit. Making a murderer could have been three episodes. We mm. don't. Need I know. All these, like, it's it's why I just want to watch a classic movie. Yeah. Even when a movie is slow, you're like, at least they did it. They got it. All. Certain shows, I could, like. I love Succession. There's some shows like that, but I'm watching these docs, and I'm like, get to it. I know. I know. We got it. We don't need this much ex exhibition. Is that the e word? Expository? Ex yeah, exposition. Ex yeah, we don't position? need as much exposition. Hmm. Or, well, I don't know if that's the right word. Well, they have to tell you the backstory. Yeah, and... yeah, I guess that is exposition. Yeah, it's too yeah. much. It's, uh, dude, and they just, it's the same shit over and over again. And, and and then I was like, let me just look up what happens. I'm like, that's it? <laughs> that's it, exactly. They got to milk. They milk. They milk. Yeah, Ford Exposition. There you go. <laughs> yeah, back. it's too much. What other news is there? I got a news Oh, hit for me, you. baby. It Google says, bitch. Uh, <laughs> West Side, sorry, question mark. Mm -hmm. The Academy is facing harsh criticism after West Side Story lead Rachel Zegler mm -hmm. uh, revealed she wasn't invited to the Oscars. Oh, despite her the club, film Rich. having seven nominations. Mm, so yeah, that was nominated Isn't a lot. She the lead? She is. She's is she Maria. Maria. I just that's... met a girl named Maria. Sorry. I love that movie. Tonight, tonight. I'm staying home tonight. tonight. I don't I know if we're going to get, get sued, invite. Matt. But... <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. I heard the movie's great. I haven't I haven't actually it's seen beautiful. it. It's beautiful. I saw a frame. Someone posted it. It was like a two and a half minute frame, and it was like one of the most beautifully shot. Spielberg really is incredible. Incredible. He he's so mainstream that he gets I think he gets knocked for that, but he's great. It's like Sebastian. He's mainstream. So everybody's like, ah, but Spielberg's killer. He's incredible. I what mean, uh Indiana Jones, uh, so many classics. I, I want to see I should Jurassic watch it. Park. It's on HBO, I think. Yeah, and this was like her big break. Oh, I look just a scene. I love the, it, the This colors. is the one. That's the one. Who is that guy? That's Angela that's his Oba. cousin. That's him. Puerto <laughs> Rican. Is that okay? Ah. Do you want to Do you see him at dinner? And have you ever like I don't talk family to, dinners? I don't talk to Bob. I've seen him. We hung out a couple times. He's a, he's a really nice guy. I don't talk to that. I don't talk to Bob really. So, what are you gonna do? This movie was. I've seen this movie, the original, like eight hundred times. I love that movie. And it looks. This looks even. It better. looks gorgeous. It looks. I'm gonna watch this this weekend. Yeah, me too. Wow, the lyrics are killer too. It's incredible. Is it a Hammerstein? Yeah, Sondheim. One of the. It Heims. was Sondheim and uh, who else? It was Sondheim and someone up. else. And he was a kid. He was like 28 when he wrote. Whoa, it. dude. Uh, yeah, they just did a like a CBS segment on Sunday in the Park with George, and it was the other guy he wrote it with, and then it was like, uh, what's Hammerstein? your name, Bernadette Peters, Sondheim. and the other guy who is, you know, you know, what I'm talking about the famous no. Broadway actor. Uh, oh, the redheaded lady. Yeah, it was Bernadette Peters, but it was a guy oh. too. Oh. What's his name? Just look up Sunday in the Park with Mandy Patinkin. Oh. Ah, Patinkin, but, I love. But it, yeah, some great songs in that too. But it, you know. Uh, he was like 28 when he wrote West Side Story. Unbelievable. It fucking makes you feel like shit. Officer Krupke is incredible. So good. Great lyrics. Uh, when you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from your first cigarette to your last dying day. You're never alone. You're always not protected. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> That'd be great if you just sang the whole song. Right? I, was, I was like, I would have listened. I would... Oh, yeah. That's how good the music is. It's great. Tonight, tonight, it's incredible. The romantic also, parts are boring, but yeah. yeah, no, but the killing, hell yeah, yeah. No, uh, also, uh, oh, you know what? I watched Belfast is really good. Mm. I liked it. I haven't seen it. It's I'm down. Good, it's a good movie. Okay, what but, what happens in that? It's it's about the, the love story. No, it's like a coming of age story. Oh, okay. In, right. uh, in Belfast, it's good. It's a good movie. That's the name of the Jared Fogel book. 
coming of age. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta stop getting up focal. I don't do pedophile. I gotta update my pedos. Who's a new pedo? R. Epstein? Kelly? Oh, Epstein. There you go. Perfect. I need a new pedo. <laughs> <laughs> Huey Lewis's uh, lost album. Uh, yeah, I saw there was a headline that said Epstein's uh, pedophile island on sale for $125 million. I was like, maybe change the name. Uh, <laughs> maybe you'll get even more than $125 true. million. Sounds like a reality show. Yeah. <laughs> pedophile island. <laughs> yeah. Coming on after Fuckboy Island on uh, uh, It's like how they do that in real estate. They're like, it's Pro- Prospect Park East. Now <laughs> yeah. like, oh, that's fucking Crown Heights. Shut up. What other what other news? We got one here. The nose knows. It says Bella's mother, Bella Hadid, I guess, Yolanda, allowed her 14-year-old daughter to get a nose job. Is that too young for cosmetic surgery? Ooh. I mean, I know you're trying to sneak this into a trans debate right now. Uh, uh, I, 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 here's my thing. Like, no, I mean, I think if you're a kid, do whatever you want. But, you know, if your parents are okay with it, right? But at the same time, uh, sometimes the thing that you don't like about yourself as a kid is going to be... I mean, what if Owen Wilson got a nose job? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's point. like, you know, you know, like sometimes it's the thing that you're known for. The thing that's like... like, like it's true. I, I hate my Brody. eyebrows, but people like recognize my or the fact that Matt's a pedophile. No, no like <laughs> you never know what people are gonna like about you. That's true. That's true. When I was a kid, I had big curly hair, and I got made fun of. And uh, now I'm, I'm I'm fine with having curly hair. You know, it, it it's you could also accept things about yourself. Yeah. See, Fourteen is pretty young. I think you should. It's stop, a little young. You should allow your body to fully grow before you make these decisions. Because like, yeah. what if her nose keeps growing after fourteen? Yeah. Right. Another one. I almost got a penile implant. And <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't. Because it's you know it's too big. It's too big. Yeah. What, what uh, yeah. What what is too young? Fourteen is pretty young. Too young, I think. You're in. You're still in high school. You're a freshman in high school. It's too much. You're bar- Yeah, you're barely in high school. Yeah. That's young. That's crazy. Crazy. You yeah. could get hotter. Like, a lot of people grow into their looks. <laughs> That's a hilarious thing for a parent to say. Look, you might not always be an uggo. We don't know that. <laughs> yeah, you might change. We don't. Your body is changing. I don't know who she, who is she. Bella Hadid? Yeah. Oh, oh hold she's on. a big model. I know big she's model. famous, but what is she famous? She's a model? She yeah. was married to someone until very recently, and they got Well, a... she, her dad was a big mogul of some kind. I like think she was oil married guy. to one of the uh, guys from One Direction, and they recently... Oh, I could Harry be Styles? Words. No, the uh, uh, as oh, I can't. I don't know that one. Don't direction. act like you don't know, man. Yeah. I do. <laughs> we all know you know all about One Direction. <laughs> oh my, Jared Fogle. <laughs> all right. that was the last one. <laughs> yeah, she's good looking, but now she's saying, "Hey, uh, what if I had kept the nose? Maybe I'd be a, uh, even better, or whatever." So you you can't yeah. take it back. Oh, I'm sorry. She dated the weekend. Her sister oh. married the other guy. The weekend. Yeah, that's oh, a he's person. good. Yeah, I like him. He's what? Big. Uh, yeah. What? Uh. What else? What are the news? Hold on, stand by. Snooze, you lose. Yeah. Um, Brittany Griner is that? Oh, oh, she's yeah, in yeah. jail. Yeah. Still? Yeah. She's detained, right? She was detained at Moscow Airport for drug charges. Hash oil. Yeah, that's a strange what? one. You know what happens with these WNBA players is they they play overseas because they get paid so little in oh. America, and you got to so, buy your drugs there. So, uh. So she makes like four times what she makes in the WNBA in Russia. But then I'm sure she, my guess, I don't know the story enough, but my guess, like, if you're, if you have hash oil, you're probably smoking. Every player smokes. Mm-hmm. Uh, or not every player, but a lot. You, inflammation, maybe you're doing that oh, yeah. to like relax your joints or sure. something. Or maybe you're just fucking or chilling. But either mm-hmm. way, it's like some Midnight Express shit. Totally. And, uh, and I, I read that her family was like, they don't want this to be politicized or something. But also, because it is. It's clearly being politicized, but she's considered, I don't know, like top three best female oh, players really? ever. Is she the one that dunks? I think she's like 6'9". I think she's dunked. Six yeah. Nine. Yeah. Wow. That's wild. It's it's crazy. Also, it's like, it's kind of fucked up that it's such a big story. The Leah Thomas thing is such a big story. People are so angry. It's like, you're angry about that, but not about Brittany uh, Grant. Do you actually give a shit about women's sports? Oh. Because this person's in, she's detained. Yeah. Somebody had an interesting take on the Leah Thomas thing. They were like, I know a lot of people are up in arms, but I never knew anything about women's swimming. And now I know a lot about it. So it's like bringing light uh, attention to it, which yeah. is interesting. I think the truth is the other way that uh, people don't really give a shit about it. And that was my. I have a bit about it that I'm oh, doing I'm, right I now. Want to step on I think it. I, ran, I think I ran about. I might have ran about. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Where I say I was talking to a guy and he was like, uh, he said, uh, 
you know, this is there should be an asterisk on those wins. And I said, I call bullshit. He goes, exactly. It's like, no, that you care about women's sports. Oh, that you right, care about women right. swimming. You don't give a shit. And the, and the bit was basically like, uh, I've never heard you talk about it. You've never shown me that you give a shit. And then he was like, well, what if I have a daughter who becomes a competitive swimmer? And I was like, you won't. No. Uh. <laughs> You're 55 and you have a roommate. <laughs> <All right. laughs> if you have a kid, I'm, I have a feeling it's not going to be a winner. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And in that case, if it is, you know. But... It is. It's one of the things that annoys me just because it's like, this is the issue. You, this is the one-ish time you give a shit about the issue. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You know what it feels like? And feel free to kick me in the balls here. I got another theory. <laughs> it Batman in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> well, it feels like I think this kind of went down in the 40s with the black players. Oh. You know, they're like, hey, well, can I get another one? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. I this, could be, this could be a funny bit. I okay. Okay. In the in the forties, the black guys started playing, integrating with the whites players, and they were kind of. I'm sure they were saying the same thing, like we'll never win again. They're they they keep beating us. They're mutants. This is a bit. This could okay, be okay. Maybe I got something here. I would take out the mutants line, uh, but uh, <laughs> well, that's what they said. You know. I'm being them. But there's a good premise for a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, like hey, these guys. Uh, I gotta we'll, ne shower we'll never. Them. It's all dick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never win again is a funny line. Yeah, right? it's unnatural. <laughs> they should stick with their own people you know? like, it's the same argument oh yeah they're saying they should make a class just for trans athletes make yeah. a the, the negro the, leagues negro leagues there yeah. you go well i guess they already had it. you have to admit but it's like yeah it is as you said bringing more attention and it's like if you're gonna watch it don't you want to watch it now of course that was right? his point mm -hmm. yeah but, it's, but, uh, it's spicy now but the britney grinder shit is so crazy to me because it's like all right here's here's what we need to do with this it's you make Air Force One, but with a six foot nine black lesbian as the lead, she's beating the shit out of Putin in the movie. Uh, That's the movie. Uh, what is Putin? They're talking about a place that doesn't understand like our culture in that way, right. but still pays them more. Yeah, I mean it's pretty crazy. I'm hmm. actually surprised because it's you know Russians are always competing with us. You know space travel, all these sports and shit. So I'm shocked that they want our players over there to show them up. Hmm. Maybe they just don't have a female basketball team, but I assume they would. Russia, they must. yeah, they must. It's some, yeah, it's some. I don't know the specifics. Are we of just it. that good over here? The American players are really good. Yeah, I mean, America. I think America is just the best at basketball. Yeah, I mean, they're great foreign players. Well, now. don't we get blown out in the Olympics? We won the last one. Last one. we had Durant, dude. Yeah, okay. they're not. They're not beating the USA when Kevin Durant is playing. Okay. We we didn't look amazing, but we we still won. Yeah. KD is unstoppable. But they're a great foreign players now. Yeah. There you go. Um, All right. What What else? What are the news? Yeah, you got, any, you got yeah, another got one, one more there? Here, yeah. Sloppy jalopy? Let's see. 9-11 uh, Tribute Museum is closing. Oh, what? The smaller of two museums built to honor the victims of September 11th attacks. With businesses down more than 80% due to the coronavirus pandemic, the institution simply couldn't survive, so it's closing. Damn. Whoa! They couldn't survive, so now now the cashiers call themselves survivors. <laughs> I guess they forgot. Yeah, never forget. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, so, well, there's still one that's open, though. I guess it says one of two. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, how many do we need? That's true. <laughs> well, I mean, how many two museums? Towers. I mean, yeah, two yeah. towers, two buildings. Wow, that's crazy. That's and, not... I mean, I went, but I, you know, you don't go more than once. I never went. Right, don't get a lot of repeat customers. Exactly. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. All they need is a, a mural, a statue, and they got that pond down there, that fountain for 9-11 yeah. Remembrance. The reflecting pool. Reflecting pool, pool. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what else do we need? We need a, a gift shop, you know? What do you, what's in the gift shop? What do people buy? I don't know. I got a, a, bet, a button that says there were no Jews in the building, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was 50% off. It was a going out of business <laughs> sale. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that's uh, crazy. Um, I have another story. It's not here, but uh, Elon Musk threatened or challenged Putin to a fist fight ah, for the rights of Ukraine. That's adorable. Winner takes Ukraine. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> How great is that? That's like it's that's can fun. He, can he can he fight Musk? I don't know. Putin's kind of old, but he does know. Yeah, but jiu -jitsu. Putin's jiu-jitsu. He's, he's KGB. Thank you. I still feel like Putin would kick his ass. Yeah. But it'd be a, it'd be a big turnout. I mean, fuck Logan Paul. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a show. I mean, Although, the numbers. Logan would be... Paul would kick his ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. But what it. about, damn, M Musk? I didn't I didn't know he could fight. It's a, it's, yeah, you he's know, got, like, he's got the best trainer, obviously. He's probably mm -hmm. going to 
you know, be ready. He's yeah, but that trainer money. might be blowing up his ego a little too much. That's right, probably. You're paying him, what, 600 a, a session with that kind of money? <laughs> Oh yeah, you got him. You got Putin. Don't worry. You got him. He's a judo master, but you got him. He's over the hill. Just you know, like yeah, he's a accord. You're Although a Putin's got a bad back, I think he's like he's uh-huh. got. There's a lot of wear and tear. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah, but he also he has been a judo master for the last like 20 years. Like he's like he's, he's scary. He's he showing his shit. Like he's, he's a scary guy. His black belt was recently revoked, though. Yeah, he, yeah, he's been what? out of every. Yeah, the jujitsu uh, society, whatever, said we're taking back your black belt because of this Ukraine business. Ah, uh, so what? he's not a black belt anymore. Uh oh, but he's got the belt. I don't know. That's a little. Yeah. That's a little tough. I there. think he's gonna be okay with it. I mean, he's <laughs> he's sleeping in a one point seven billion dollar compound. Uh, Is that right? Yeah. Wow. So I, I, I think he'll be okay with losing a piece of uh, <laughs> cotton. <laughs> Damn. Did you do? Did you ever do a martial arts? Not really. Did you? I did judo for like a year. Are you good? No, I got beat up too many times. I had to leave. So I think I got to like yellow belt or orange belt. Do you, can you fight at all? Uh, I can hang in. I'm like Cool Hand Luke. I'll get beat up, but uh, it's so long that the guy's like, all right, we're same, done here. Same, same. I just hope to... Like that episode where Homer just gets punched in the face yes, a bunch. Yes, exactly. You just hope they get tired. Yeah, I can hang in, but I'm not You know, they, I think what winning. we just revealed is Mark and I drink. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't fight, Yeah, but we will not feel the pain until the morning. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. There was a fight, I don't know, it's a UFC fight with Sean O'Malley, where he's like this great fighter. And he, he's beating the shit out of this one guy. But the guy wouldn't go down. So the ref was like, I don't know what to do here. And he's just punching him in the face. The guy's face is mangled, bloody, pulp. And they just had to call it like, ah, we got to stop. And he was like, I- I'm so good. And he was like, "Wow, I just can't let you do this to your face. That's pretty badass. It was pretty badass. And the guy became famous just from that fight, even though he didn't win. That Cool Hand Luke scene is so cool. I mean, Stay watching down. that growing up was like, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Same. That big guy who beat the shit out of him. I forgot the name of that actor, but he's from Naked Gun. Naked Gun, That yeah. guy's great. Uh, <laughs> Kennedy? Yes. George Kennedy? George Kennedy. Yeah, that's, there you go. Cool Hand Luke is, man, Paul oh, Newman was the shit. That's I, think, I know this podcast, because of us, it always will turn into a movie talk. I know. But... Fucking Paul Newman, dude. It also, I think what HUD blew him up, I think. Yeah. HUD is a great movie, but, yeah. and then The Hustler, but like Cool Hand Luke is like, is he ever cooler than in the best. Cool Hand Luke? The best. Yeah. He's in The Sting? Sting is Love good. Sting. Sting is good it's, a good, it's a good heist movie. Yeah. Yeah. Road to Perdition, uh, what's the jury one? Uh, the Verdict is the verdict. verdict. That's his best movie. Great movie. That's, I think, you think so? It's incredible. He's not powerful and like virile. He's sort of like, he's pathetic. Pathetic. Alcoholic. And I can't, I can't, Make that my favorite film of his. It's uh, great. It's not the coolest movie, but I think yeah. it's like the it's the grittiest. It's the yeah. best. Mammoth, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Uh, yeah, no, Cool Hand Luke is great, and so is uh, Butch Cassidy's pretty. Oh, good. Butch Cass, that was a big one. It's not. As, it's not as good as no, Cool Hand no, Luke, no. but it was big. Uh, by the way, we talked about Ron on speaking of movies. We should say that his special is recording on the 11th at the Village Underground. Will this be out by then? Yeah. Yes, it's April Go 3rd. Ron on Hirschberg, Comedy Cellar, Matt's directing it. Oh, he's He is right. one of the best stand-ups. There I mean, he, is. he really is. Killer. Uh, he's, he's a machine, dude. Yeah. He's such great jokes and uh, guaranteed this will be a killer special. He's been in yeah. Europe do, uh, running it. Oh, yeah. He's touring like crazy. He was already a good comic. It's good. He's going to finally put that hour down, and you guys get to go see it at the cellar. The comedy cellar, the Village Underground, two shows. Eight and ten. Eight and ten p.m. Uh, April 11th. Uh, if I'm in town, I'll be there for sure. Yeah, I'll pop into that. Do you know who's opening? It's, a, it's like a Monday. I think it's Caitlin Lufo. Oh, fun. Perfect. This That's, is so good. The salt, I know. Man. I can't put it down. Cheers. Well done, sir. Ukraine. So you got any bits? Yeah, what do you, oh, what, what do you got, Mark? You bits, go. bits. I forgot about bits. I like it. All right, I got too many. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, here we go. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not good. Um, <laughs> shit, I had a big one. Now I can't think of it. Is this anything? Everybody, mental illness is very popular now. It's like fashionable. Like, hey, I have anxiety. I'm depressed. I'm OCD. But no one ever claims narcissism. Mm. That's the one mental disorder that no one's like, you know, I'm a narcissist. <laughs> like, you don't see anybody say that. Like, oh, yeah, sorry, I'm inconsiderate and don't think about you. But I'm a narcissist. Well, the thing is, a narcissist would never think about themselves as having That's a negative a attribute. Point. Ah. You're too good to be a narcissist. Yeah. 
Right. A narcissist, it would be hard for a narcissist to identify that himself is a great point, but it's also, it shows that it's an uncool one to have. Exactly. Because if, if you say like, oh, I've, you know, I'm depressed, like, Depressed people get attention. You're the victim. You're the victim, Ooh. right? But the narcissist you makes you, you're the victim. You're the victimizer. Yeah. That's that's a good, see, narcissism, others suffer. Yes. That's great. Right? Exactly. Isn't that the bit? Smart. That's the bit. That's the meat of it. It's the rise of dominant narcissism. Yeah. And narcissism, I think it's up. <laughs> like, like I think others suffer. Who's Who is the first narcissist you think of? Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Others suffer. Right. He's yeah. having a blast. Yeah. His wife. <laughs> right. His kid. His kid, right? Us. Like, yeah. Us. But like, you know. But you know, you see a guy. Any politician is a narcissist. Sure. For the record. Sure. No doubt about it. But like, you see a guy doing the locks five times. You're like, what are you doing? I'm OCD. They're very quick They're proud to tell of you. It. They're oh proud of God. it. Did but, you just do Rick Glassman's podcast? I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they'll never go, oh, sorry, I never call you back, or I, whatever you, I fucked you over. I'm a narcissist. Because it's inconsiderate. Yeah. It's, it's, it's weird when your disorder has the same, has the same attributes as someone who's just a shitty friend. <laughs> right, right, yeah. But it, it would actually be growth to admit it. Yeah. But- Narcissists don't really have growth. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, it's, I'm two a up their own ass. I'm a narcissist. I'm sorry, I'm a narcissist. Although they don't apologize either. Yeah, they'd say I'm a narcissist. You really have got to get better friends. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is on you. I actually yeah. have a bit. I have a bit where I say, yeah, you've heard that bit. Yeah, right? I love it. Where I, say, I was in. I'm in. Uh, I say, uh, you know, I was dating a girl who's always mad at me. I told my therapist, she goes, well, she picked you. She has to accept you. And I was like, that's good stuff. I'm gonna use it as a weapon. You know, <laughs> and I come home shit faced. Where were you? I go. This is a you problem. You right, gotta, hey, you right. gotta work this out. But uh, different bit though. But it's just. Uh, you think I can use this? Is yeah, it? absolutely. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's absolutely I'll play a jumping with it. board. Uh, All right, what do you got? I, I have a lot of Ukraine jokes. I have a lot of Russia jokes, and I had one I was trying to work on about how, um, you know, this is really the first major war with uh, camera phones. Oh. which really it's really a different war like thank god we didn't have that for other wars like you think like vietnam you just look at footage you're like oh my god it turns out grandpa wasn't a hero this guy <laughs> this guy's a terrible person <laughs> right, you know right. not only not only did he uh you know turn in one of his own he you know he impregnated three locals <laughs> <laughs> something like uh it's also harder to respect your your war grandpa when he's like Hey everybody, we're out here with the chopper. Uh, that, that's that's the chief over there. He's taking a shit. You know, we got opium over here. Woo! We're having a good time. You know, the selfie video. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we we were in it, man. We were in it. It's like, looks like a pretty nice uh, tent, right? That's funny. That's great. Yeah. The camera phone is big. Yeah, it's like the war was the war that serious? If you're if you're on Snapchat. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know. We're out here in Saigon. Like and comment. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. The one guy is like, yeah, Grandpa, uh, he, he gave away our position because he couldn't stay off TikTok. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that actually happened. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some guy in Ukraine uh, was at the mall and said, oh, there's tanks parked here on his TikTok. The mall got blown up hours later. And now he's under arrest. Whoa. Yeah. But he got a lot of followers. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. And how many views? And that happened during like the, actually in 2014 where they first took over Crimea. There was a, like, a, I think it might have been like a vice reporter or someone who followed a Russian soldiers, because they wouldn't say that there was actual Russian soldiers in Ukraine. They followed a Russian soldier's like Facebook pics. Oh shit! And followed them all the way across the border and into the Crimea. Like clearly, they are here. That's like, this crazy. Is, they took pictures with them, with his pictures, like aligned them. Wow. See? Like, clearly, this is happening. Like you're an idiot for Man. tagging yourself. Technology here. and social media. It's like it's it's gonna change history books. It's so yeah. fucking weird. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It's gonna fuck up history books because then you're gonna have 18 different history books with like. Basically, it's going to be like hashtag this, hashtag that, hashtag that. And those and are the classes that you're taking. Right. Like, your attention span is sh – it's my attention span. I feel already at bad at ADD. It's shit. But it's like – even when I'm reading a book, I'll like put it down for a minute. I'm like, let me look at this. Let me put it on the TV for a second. I have like a basketball game on it. I'll be reading a book. I'm like peeking over at a yeah. basketball score. How much How much do we need? I know. I know. It's I'm in the shower with a podcast playing, wow. and then I get out, and I, I'm drying off with the TV and the podcast still play. It's sad. It's horrible. And I have the news on all day on top of it, and I don't know why I can't. It's like part of my routine, and I can't break the habit. That's and I bad. Should, I should put it off. It's so 
negative just so coming negative. at you. So negative. There's nothing good on the news. There's no more of that squirrel skiing. You know, <laughs> those are the good old days. That'd be hilarious if they're like, we have some bad news in Ukraine, but first, uh, Charlie the squirrel right here. <laughs> uh, pull him up. You know, the water ski squirrel. I love that little guy. That yeah. squirrel fucking rule, dude. Oh, great squirrel. That that was brightening people's lives. Dude, I long for the day of Pizza Rat. Are you <laughs> exactly. kidding me? Exactly. Totally. They're like, we have a, a breaking news. Bagel Rat, the new rat, is on the scene. <laughs> Ooh, there yeah, this, he is. this is the note we're gonna end on. The oh no, what what? I got a commercial. Here it is. There it is. Oh, he climbs on the ski. He's adorable. He's just trying to live. Hell yeah, he's living his best <laughs> life, as they say. He's just is a... this animal abuse? No, he, that's he's got sense. a rope around his neck. I'm gonna go with the S. Wait, he does? Oh uh, yeah. Remember Robert Schimmel's oh, no, joke about uh, the animals at SeaWorld? They're like, how does he pedal? Easy. They nail his legs to the fucking <laughs> to the bike. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Woo! Robert Quinn. Schimmel. I love how it's sponsored by GoPro because it's like from squirrel, some from humans in squirrel suits to squirrels in fucking. Oh humans. right. Well, they don't have to pay the squirrel. Uh, all right, I found the joke I really wanted to try, but I could save it because I, I kind of cheated. Call? Do it. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right, all right. So doing this whole chunk about how women are sexier than men because men don't know how to be sexy. We're only sexy on accident. You know, women could just turn it on. You know, uh, that's why there's, I get annoyed when guys bitch about women's feelings. Like, oh, women are so emotional. They have all these feelings. And I'm like, yeah, but thank God because if they didn't, they wouldn't be with us. You think they're with us for our looks? They can see through it, you know. They can they can mm. see other shit in men because of those feelings, like he's ambitious or he's funny or whatever. And then I have this whole act out about like I know a girl she's obsessed with smart men, and I'm like I get it, but how does that play out in the bedroom? Because a lot of the shit men find sexy, you can do in the bedroom, you know, mm. like legs or tits. <laughs> but the shit women find sexy, like intelligence, is some guy like. Uh, hypotenuse, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that hits, but it's hypotenuse. shaky. <laughs> the feelings are what women like. That's the only reason they're with us. It's not. It's not a, my uh, thin dick and and five ten. You there's know, some, there's something about <laughs> there's something about like saying something very observant. You know, like right. we're saying something like uh, you ha do you show how informed you are while you're fucking her? Oh yeah, yeah. You're just like right. fan. You're like, oh, what's happening in Ukraine? It's horrible right now. I just. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if you saw the news story. She's like, oh, my God, turn me over. <laughs> There's also a lot of, like, you know, geometry, trigonometry going on. So maybe if you can do the math oh, right, the G-spots easier to find. Right. You know? There you go. That's Physics. True. Yeah, if I put the leg like this. I don't know if you remember when you lost your virginity, but it's – the angles are weird. Of course. Yeah, you're, you're new. You know? You're green. So sometimes I wish I had the calculus education to, right. you know, make that right the first time. They really teach you everything but the shit you need. Can we get one class on how to angle yourself in the push-up position? Yes, <laughs> please. There we go. Can we get one? Taxes, Amen. cunnilingus. There's all kinds. Of, I don't. I don't need algebra. I had a great coach who would do the health class, and dude, he was so funny. He he had he had George Carlin's voice. Mm. He was a bearded cranky jew who played uh, college uh baseball for memphis and he would just say fucked up shit and then be like oh i'm racist he goes <laughs> i went to memphis 14 black guys 10 whites one jew <laughs> <laughs> i would be like yeah no one called you racist yeah, right, right. <laughs> but he was just fucking he would just like pick fights or he'd do like he'd do the thing where he'd like put his finger through the, the oh, oh thing. my oh, god classic. Fucking bricks. classic he was such a classic uh he was so funny <laughs> that's great that wouldn't fly now in gym no oh, no dude it, 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 he got he got laid off i mean oh, it, wow. he got, got another job he was great but i mean the guy who was in charge hated him he yeah. was so funny. <laughs> I mean, he was legitimately a funny dude. I hope he's all right. He's all right. He's doing well. All right. He sent me a message recently. He's doing. He's doing well. Oh wow! You yeah. keep in touch. Good to keep in touch. I agree. I agree. I don't. I don't know anybody from uh, any teacher. I mean, I, yeah, I had never... a teacher come to my show in Kentucky. I was shocked. That's crazy. I was with Ron on. Yeah. What was really? that like? My teachers nice. hated me. Yeah. Yeah. Did they know they were coming to see you? Yeah. Oh, okay. um, how fucking weird would that be? Yeah. Holy shit, I taught this guy English in seventh grade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. He lives in Kentucky and he's always going to play there. And he's wow. Like, oh, yeah, Damn. It was, nice. it was nice. It sounds like you went to a good school. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to public school and it was a lot of like, fuck you, sit down. 
you know. Well, there was that too, but yeah, I think I think also it's like they didn't like me a lot of them at the time, and now they're like, ah, oh, he's all right. Oh, I think it's a lot of like he grew. Right. I guess I never grew. I, <laughs> I didn't like you then. I don't like you now. <laughs> I had a, a teacher, Miss O'Dwyer. And one time she she was like, we were talking about something. And she goes, what does that mean? And I go, Miss O'Dwyer, you got to get out more. And she was like, that's it. Detention. I'm like, what? That's it. And one time I said, up yours. I didn't know what it meant. I just saw Bill Murray say it. And I got in trouble for that. Up your- Detention's really changed. Because oh. we did with detention now. Britney Griner's in detention. Right. She's in the detention center. Right. Detention back in the day, it was fucking... It, it was, was like an hour. An hour after school, no talking to your friends, then you can go home. It wasn't, you're in Russia, <laughs> and you're going to be politicized. It felt like it, though. You're like, oh, detention. It's <laughs> brutal. A whole hour. And you, of course, we all saw the Judd Nelson scene in Breakfast yeah. Club, so you're like, come at me, teach. <laughs> oh, this summer? Let's go. And the second it's over, you're like, fuck, I, I ruined my whole... <laughs> yeah. All my over. plans are shot. <laughs> I, I was trying to be Judd Nelson in Breakfast Club. <laughs> you see this? That's what you get for <laughs> spilling paint in the garage. <laughs> I've seen that movie too He was the fucking man. He was the coolest. Judd Nelson for life, dude. Remember when he shoved his uh, head in the crotch? That was big. Oh, yeah. Molly Ringwald. Oh, yeah. She was one fine piece of ace. <laughs> what about the scene where he's walking through the ventilation duct or crawling, and he's like, he tells a joke, but he never finishes it. Oh, let's hear it. I, it? I don't know. You got to pull it up. But I, as a kid, I was like, what's the punchline? Because he falls through the, the <laughs> vent. Too busy looking up the crotch shot here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's do the joke. That's assault, brother. Yeah, let's see the, <laughs> let's see the joke. <laughs> That's assault, brother. Uh, Anthony it? Michael Hall. Yeah. Who was a really hot goth chick? Ali Sheedy. She was hot. Yeah, she was hot. Uh, remember she, had this, she painted the, or drew a picture of snow and then used her dandruff. That was the thing that I remember most from that movie. Like, yeah. yeah. Why is it? Oh, that, the, the principal's so good. He's great. He, he was in a ton of shit. Is it, he was he's gonna in get Money the Talks horns. with Chris Tucker. He's in Die Hard? Yeah. Die Hard. Okay, girl in a bar with poodle under one arm. <laughs> and a two foot salami under the other. She lays the poodle on the table. Bartender says, I suppose you won't be needing a drink. And then the lady says, Okay. See? I suppose you won't be needing a drink. drink. She's got a, a, a poodle under one arm and a salon. And a what, did he, salami. what did he put on the, on the put bar? Put the poodle on the bar. So now she's just holding a two foot salami. Yeah. And it's, I'm guessing it's going to be a dirty joke. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, so immediately salami, we think cock. Sure. But is this a well-known joke that everybody in the audience is like, oh, I've heard that. And we just were too young? Or you got to Google look up, the punchline. We're going line. to the comments. Yeah. I don't know. Can someone finish this unfinished joke? Thank you. God, this is why the internet comes in handy. I believe it's never intended to be finished, but I'm curious. Ah. Uh, and it starts with, all right, we just saw that. I need an answer, Reddit. Blonde says, anyone want to read that? Blonde says, I definitely do after what just happened to me. Bartender says, I'm so sorry. What happened? The blonde says, well, my boyfriend and I were just about to make love when out of nowhere, the crazy bastard says, I'm going to pound my favorite bitch with my giant sausage. So I grabbed them both and got the hell out of there. Okay. he was. She was afraid he was going to fuck the dog with the salami. Right. So this it's not a great not joke. Not a great but... joke. But it's a great setup to a joke, like you would expect. Like if you were just to say, "Give me the fr- the front half of a joke," right? It's pretty good. It's I'm, a pretty good. Setup. I'm nervous when the setup's too big. It's like when <laughs> it's like the wind up's so big, then you're kind of it's just building, it's building expectations. Agreed. The simpler, the better. A midget walks into a bar, says, "Ouch." Yeah. You know, you're like, "All right, that's a joke." A horse walks into a bar. Why the long face? Okay. Boom. Um, comments are saying. Yeah, that was home crafted. Oh. Comments are saying that guy came up with himself. Oh. It recently revered in Premier Magazine that there was no punchline. According to Judge Nelson, I made the joke up. Oh. My line was to fall Did you call him Judge room. Nelson? <laughs> Reinhold. <laughs> <laughs> you got the wrong All judge. rise. Uh, <laughs> Order. They, they yeah, had so that on, on the animated clerk show. Do you ever see that? It, no. it was the Honorable Judge Reinhold. He was an actual <laughs> judge on the <laughs> That's show. That's fun. So he says, so we were trying to work backward fr- from that. Uh, what the joke would have a punchline. So. Okay. All right. Well, I feel better that it has no ending. Because I was, my whole life, I was just like, what I didn't like the be? favorite bitch line anyway. Not my favorite. No. All right. Well. Had guess... a lot of salt today. Yeah. What was lunch? Uh, I just had like snacks. Uh-oh. Light stomach. 
Couldn't hit you hard. You eat? Me and him got a I got a barley soup and a half of pastrami on rye. Where'd you go? Ben's delicatessen. Good. So good. We've gone there ten times now. Is that Chinese place closed down for good? I think so. Across Fuck. the street. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a Patreon to do. All right. Well, you guys have been great. Make sure to uh, subscribe to the Patreon. We uh, Patreon.com slash we might be drunk pod. Email us Rex jokes, whatever uh, peeves. Yeah. yeah. We might be drunk pod at gmail.com. If you want to send us shit, Gotham Studios on 39 West 38th Street. Mark, you're hitting the road, man. I'm on the road every weekend. Uh, coming to a town near you, D.C., Raleigh. Cleveland, Chicago, uh, Denver, Phoenix, Irvine, California, um, you name it. I'm all at Dania Beach, Indianapolis. I'm all over the road. It's going to be a fun year. Uh, what else we got there? Addison Improv. Great club. Austin, Paramount Theater for Moon Tower. Uh, what else you got Phoenix, there? Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Calusa, California. It's some casino. That should be interesting. Uh, Madison Improv in May. That's Dallas. Yeah, yeah. Bricktown. Does that say Bricktown? Yeah. Okay. See, that's good. Good club. Good. Good room. Good crowds. San Jose Improv. Stand up live. Yeah. So a lot of fun dates. MarkNormanComedy dot com. Check out Out to Lunch. Check out the stand ups on Netflix. And the merch is cooking. We got koozies. We got those glasses. People seem to be enjoying the glasses. I love. The, I love the glasses. I love the koozies. Are great. Uh, yeah. What do I got? Uh, Salt Lake City coming up. Um. What else? Brea, uh, Brea, Brea right. Improv just added an LA show, but that's that's the small room, so it's going to go fast. So is the might... Beacon sold out? I think it is, but they might have just released some new tickets because I, I some people are asking like one by one, so there might be a cup a few tickets left. Um. What else? Nashville Zanies, Albany Funny Bone, Toronto, uh, Providence, Chicago, Tampa, Cleveland. All over that shit. Houston, West Palm. We got a makeup date in July. Really glad I missed uh, West Palm in March and moved it to July. To July. That's uh, exciting. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. right when you want to go to the, uh, Florida, uh, all over the place. So yeah, San Jose <laughs> Improv as well. So all over the all over the states, baby. Samuel dot com slash shows. Pumped, loving it. So uh, yeah, you got a new hour to put down on wax. Oh so, yeah, we're, we're, we're ironing out the kinks. So go see it now when it, it's hot. It's like bubbling bubbling over and then you got to put it down like a dog with rabies so yeah sally you good sally's got some some gigs finally he's back i'm back baby beard jew you still working at say less am i allowed to say that yes you are i'm All still right. working at say less i've um finally got shoes. the uh uh my own uh recipe book coming out soon whoa uh, called bodega bartending so oh, whoa. that fits with us pretty good, we'll, good. You know what I mean? yeah we'll teach you how to make like real nice drinks with anything you can find at your local liquor store and corner store so you don't have to get too fancy and you can follow along with us here hell yeah and our whiskey should be coming out within the next couple months christian maybe sooner if we're lucky if we're lucky christopher yeah, Christopher. What did I say? Christian. All right. Well, he's a religious man. But, uh, <laughs> not, not true. <laughs> well, right. we'll see you guys. Thank you. We love you. Thank you, guys. Keep Thank drinking. You. Sunday's the day for my next fender. A bit of Pivarek, you know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon. And Norman's talking shit about the fucking Pope. And I get down in the same way. Up on the roof like a Here in New Orleans This woman doesn't look like I remember